everyone. I'm here again with Dr. Nario. You know Dr. Nario is in Reno, Nevada at Biointegrative Health Center. You can check them out online and find out more about what they do there. So welcome, Dr. Nario. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. So I know that, again, we're, we're doing some more topics on some of the new supplements and research and so on that you got from Las Vegas in the last couple of weeks. So we have, or you are going to tell us about a new supplement uh, that will is a anti-aging benefit. <clears throat> You're a lithin A, and it also has something to do with the mitochondria. So what is this new supplement? Well, Steve, urolithin A is another finding. I mean, it's not it's not that old, but it's out there. But it's one of the things that they were, I guess, introducing to us. And urolithin A actually is a it's something that's found in our natural food resource: pomegranates, berries, and nuts. And the specific component that it comes from, where it comes from, is elagitanins. So that's kind of like the, the, the raw product of that. And it's a precursor to your lithin A. So when your gut microbiome sees l it converts it to your lithin A. And your lithin A is a naturally occurring postbiotic, uh, now as you can see, produced by your gut. And 30 to 40% of the U.S. population can naturally produce your lithin A in variable quantities. Many producers create less than therapeutic levels and given sensi the sensible dietary exposure. As you can see, it's coming from plants, which we are not, or in fruits, we, which we are not really eating a lot of nowadays. That's why urolithin A is very important in the function of our mitochondria, which I'm going to go to in a bit. Okay, so you said 30 to 40% of people can produce some of this? Yes. Does because that mean that depending on the gut, gut health? Yeah. Does that mean the rest of the people can't produce it? Yeah. And again, a lot of factors of this is related to what we're eating, the functions of our gut, the microbiome. And you have to realize almost even 70% of the population has bad guts and the diet. And that's because of the bad diet also. Okay. So that means even you said even the 30 to 40% of the people can't produce enough of it. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we need that's basically essential mm -hmm. for most people. We need to get it in our diet, right? That's correct. Okay, so you mentioned before we turned this recording on that it affects the mitochondria. Well, that just clicks with me. That's obvious to me then. Anything that's going to be positive for the mitochondria or help the mitochondria is obviously going to help us stay healthy and be a big factor for anti-aging. So how does this connect um, with uh, the mitochondria? What's mm -hmm. the importance? Well, see, we know healthy mitochondria stimulates mitophagy, uh, which is actually the destruction of old mitochondria. So if they stay longer there, they become inflammatory. So we need to recycle them and create new ones. And we need to repackage them again so that it can be a more functional type of mitochondria. And we all know this is the bedrock of good health, healthy cells, and the optimal function of mitochondria leads to incredible health benefits, in um, particular to the heart, the kidneys, the eye, the brains, and muscle function. The clinical science today has focused on muscle health in relation to urolithin A. And we're talking about skeletal muscle. And very large numbers of mitochondria are present to achieve optimal performance, strength, and recovery from fatigue. Muscle health starts to decline in our 30s. So in this uh, specific product, they use hand grip strength. And uh, when uh, in nat naturally, we decline 10% uh, on this uh, hand grip strength that we have every decade. Uh, every intervention strategies are needed to make sure that we maintain this. And this is related to the amount and quality of mitochondria that we have to have that ability to create uh, key energy producing pathways. This can lead to overall poor performance and recovery. And if we can improve mitochondrial function, we can physically um, increase our performance while aging 
and even aid in recovery from the muscle damage of our everyday. Another function of urolithin A in the mitochondria is, as I mentioned to you, is the recycling of, of, the, of the old mitochondria into new ones. So a well-conserved anti-aging pathway, again, uh, it promotes that, that pathway for the cleanup. And this is a biological process that we always have. And this is simulated also in our regular exercising and even intermittent fasting. Not only will it be achieved through urolithin A supplementation. Yeah, interesting. Urolithin A, and <clears throat> obviously, I mean, I can connect the dots there. When you're making the mitochondria stronger, you're going to be stronger. And they're measuring this with grip strength, which, mm -hmm. you know, I've also been told that... Uh, <laughs> that is a measurement that really, if your grip strength is strong as you age, it's an indication that you're staying healthier, right? Yep, that is correct. So we, I guess, crunch more hands when you shake hands with other people, I guess. Yeah, try, try to crush them, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are the benefits? I mean, obviously, we know you, you mentioned some benefits of this, but just talk a little bit about the benefits of uh, maybe supplementing this and then we'll find out how do you do that. But is, is there any other benefits? Yeah, yeah there's a lot, uh, Steve. And just to recap uh, how supplements and uh, um, other, uh, or uh, I guess, herbs that can also help with the mitochondria is, for example, NMN, something that we use also. Uh, it also creates new mitochondria and same function for ur urolithin A. CoQ10, it helps the mitochondria to achieve optimal mature function. Uh, urolithin A by itself has proven also that it increases the clearance of damaged mitochondria. So out of all the supplements that I've heard so far, urolithin A kind of comes as number one there. And the ones that uh, actually that were focused on the studies, that, that, which are randomized controlled trial studies, uh, were muscle biopsies that were done well after taking four weeks of this supplement versus placebo for people who didn't take it. So the one who took the, the, the supplement actually had higher gene expression in the mitochondria, almost simulating or similar to aerobic exercise regimens. And supplements uh, statistically improve muscle endurance in older adults after two months, increasing in muscle endurance by up to 17% on the lower extremities and 26% on the hands. That's why grip strength, right? Both were achieved around 500 to 1,000 uh, grams, 500 milligrams to 1,000 grams uh, a day. Immune system, also urolithin A, impacts several models of inflammation and cancer and has anti-inflammatory effects, which can be seen through the blood testing of CRPs. And also it has effects in lowering down inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's and even um, um, ulcerative colitis. And one of the main features also for aesthetics, it reduces collagen degradation and increases cellular energy in human skin cells treated with this supplement. Extrinsic a uh, signs of aging were lowered down like uh, inflammation markers. Uh, intrinsic ones would be also the good turnover of the old mitochondria to the new ones. And also all of these muscle uh, markers improved, which were also seen by higher fatty oxidation and mitochondrial respiration. Okay, so now the big question, where do we get this? How do we get this in food? You've kind of hinted that it's a supplement. You can get it in that form. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts and do you have any recommendations on how to get this in our bodies? What do we eat? What do we take to get this in our bodies? All right. Well, Steve, again, one dose of a supplement has shown to provide six times more urolithin A in the bloodstream compared to the most common source, pomegranate juice, which is in eight ounces of, uh, in, measurement, in measurement. The thing here is, when you think about pomegranate juice, we have this issue of sugar intake as well. Every eight ounce is actually a 31 gram sugar contribution to our system. Thus, if you have sugar issues, uh-uh. But with the supplement, of course, it's isolated. You don't have to worry about that sugar intake. So it's, these are in the forms of soft gels, um, powders, uh, and even creams. So there's so you can find it um, in different uh, forms. 
and 500 milligrams per day actually is the recommended dose. But there has been um, patients who've been using it for 1,000 milligrams, and still there's no bad side effects that we're seeing. Usually safely taken when you're um, fasted or in a fed state, and no issues with bioavailability in relation to food. And also, it should be taken consistently in the same time of the day, morning, noon, night, but just be consistent in taking it, and it will still get into your system to get the health benefits of urolithin A. Okay, everybody, if you have questions, put them in the comment section. I will make sure that the doctor gets these questions because um, a lot of people may have questions beyond what we've done here. So just put them in the comment section. I'll make sure the doctor gets them. And thank you very much for being with us, Dr. Nario. Well, thank you, Steve, for having me again, as we all know, knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.